Hey everyone, it's Aaron here. I used to be a hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a full-time food content writer for chef3.com. So for today's episode, I'm very very excited. We'll be doing tonkatsu. I'll be comparing different kinds of coating to see which works best for tonkatsu. Traditionally, tonkatsu uses breadcrumbs. I'll also be using cereal and digestive biscuits. In addition to these three coatings, I'll be doing a fourth coating. Okay, just for fun. ta -da! Oreo. Let's see how it fares against these three. Now I have with me pork loins over here which I have marinated overnight in a brining solution. Water, baking powder and salt. Yes, correct. Okay, I'll be using a meat tenderizer to pound the meat into half an inch thick. You can use this to relieve your stress. You're not really fine, you just can't oh, This is gonna two ticks. I'm gonna change my pan a bit. I'm gonna butterfly, make it more flat, now I'll pound again. Be careful not to pound it too thin, otherwise during frying, the center will be a bit dry. I will also make a series of slits here and there to further tenderize the meat. After they are done, we will be seasoning them very lightly with salt and pepper. Then I will let it rest. Then meanwhile, we will be preparing our homemade tonkatsu sauce. Heat up a pan, watch some shaya sauce, sugar, ketchup, oyster sauce. Now I've just tasted the sauce. I'm going to adjust the sauce a little bit to make it less sweet and more savory and sour. Two more tablespoons of Worcestershire shaya sauce and maybe also two tablespoons of oyster sauce. We'll be doing a three-step frying process. Coat the pork loins evenly into plain flour. Make sure to dust the excess. Now we'll move on to the egg mixture. Now final step is to coat your pork loin into the breadcrumbs. Now make sure that one of your hands must be always dry and the other hand must be wet. Do not put your wet hand into the dry mixture, otherwise all the breadcrumbs will lump together. You should let it rest in your resting station. Does it look scary enough? I hope none of our Japanese audience get offended lah. Also, we're just trying it for the fun of it. Now, we'll be doing a double frying for this process. Make sure that your cooking oil is at least 180 degrees. Typically, when it's almost done, the pork colour will start to float on the frying oil and also the bubbles will be smaller. You can also use a test pin to poke through the meat and see whether the inside is hot. Put it on your resting station and let it rest. Make sure to use a strainer to strain away the breadcrumbs. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go with the Oreo. The Oreo is not come out already. <laughs> wow, this looks very scary. For the second part, the oil should be about 160 degrees and we'll be finishing it off in another couple of minutes. Lightly season the surface of the pork colour with salt and pepper again. Now I have with me sliced green and purple cabbage which has been soaked in ice cold sugar water to make them slightly sweet and more flavorful lah. and also crunchier. I'll just be serving it with some sesame sauce. So for today I have Claire and Hey you again ah <laughs> Chantel, first impression. Can you differentiate? Can you differentiate what is what? No, no. All, all look similar, right? Yeah. We shall try the first one. Mm -hmm. Can you see the fatty layers? Mm. This is four dollar pork chop by NCC. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that. Lot. I'm gonna get more sauce. It's so good. Oh, I think I'm celebrating all this one. Very nice, nice. Okay, I can go at this. Come. It's not like more crackling. Like tui tui one, like. So I know what this one is. It. I know. So. <laughs> mm. The sauce is really good. Yeah, the sauce is really good. Okay, last one. Let's go. Mm. I think this is the least crispy one. It looks like it's the thinnest. This does not smell as sweet. Sweet? It smells sweet? Ooh. No, you know cheesecake. You smell the... the, the oh, the, the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know what is this? Conflict. Conflict. Wow, so smart. Ah. The, one that, the one that you just eaten. Wow. Yeah, it's very odd. I thought it was plain flour. Then the first one is? The one that you ate, that's not. Is it a normal one? Yeah, normal the one. The normal one. Yeah, correct. Mm. This two is very smart. This two nice. Yeah? This two. Oh. I like this one. Mm. But this one I feel like the pork is the juiciest. Like, I really like this pork. But in terms of the crumb, I don't know. Like, I feel like, oh, it's... 
nice. You hungry? I said, oh, it's nice, right? But I think I'll vote the sausage. I think I think I think it's hungry. Hey, look, copy lah. Just very black. <laughs> you know what? Out of all this, is the best. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. But I think it's the best. I think I like yeah, it. Right. Mm. It's a bit of a sweet sweetness. No, it's like fluffy. I don't know. But should the tonkatsu be savory, not sweet? But I mean, mm. sweet savory combination. Always works. Always works. Mm. <laughs> That's the end of episode 7 of The Office Chef. If you have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please leave it in the comments below. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't talk if I'm not full, okay, please? <laughs> okay, say. Mm. 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 It's crunchy.